Um, all the lukewarm Christians, they always say, why did Jesus turn water into wine? Go read 1 Corinthians chapter 6 where it says no drunkard is going to enter into God's kingdom. That means if you're a lukewarm Christian and you're drinking alcohol out here and you're saying you believe in God, you are on your way to hell. And God has put us here to warn you. He doesn't want you to go to hell, but you got to repent. You got to turn to Jesus. If you keep living in rebellion, you will die and death is coming and you can't do nothing about it. That day of death is coming for you and you don't know when it's coming, but it's coming, sir. The Bible says it's appointed once for you to die. And then after that, the judgment. Sir, you know there's people in hell right now that would be angry. It doesn't matter. You out here drinking alcohol, sir? You're not, you're not born again, sir. You got head knowledge. The Bible says you search the scripture and in them you think you have eternal life, but sir, you are deceived. You have theology of the devil. It never got into the heart, sir. It never got into the heart where you began to obey the Lord. The Bible says to love God is to obey the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says. If you love God, you're not gonna be a drunkard. If you love God, you're not gonna be holding hands with the devil and practicing the things of this world. The Bible says to be a friend of the world, you make yourself an enemy of God, sir. So by your own confession and what you said, you are an enemy of God. You are a lukewarm Christian and God has put me here to warn you that you are in the danger zone, sir. Repent and get right with God. Repent, you too, sir, turn to Jesus. Get right with God because God is not playing games. Turn to Jesus and get right with God. There's a lot of prideful men out here. They are in pride and they are on their way to hellfire. Yet you don't have to go to hell. Jesus Christ laid his life down on the cross. He died so that you don't go to hell. But if you keep living in rebellion, you will go to a devil's hell. Yet God sent his son Jesus not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The world needed a savior and God sent his son. Yet you can't keep trampling on the blood atonement of Jesus Christ and living in rebellion and think that you're going to be with God in eternity. My friends, I am here to warn you that you're gonna go to hell, sir. That's what God put me here to warn you about. I am going. Yeah, well, you don't have to go to hell, sir. You can humble yourself and put down your pride. You don't have to parade yourself in your prideful rebellion. You can humble yourself, sir. But if you go to hell, there's no Bibles in hell, sir. There's no preachers preaching to you in hell, sir. There's no blood atonement in hell. There's no forgiveness in hell, sir. When you die in this life without the forgiveness that comes through Jesus Christ, you go to hell. And God has put me right here to warn all of you to get off the highway of hell, sir. Put the alcohol bottle down, come to God and begin to live holy. Come to God and come out the ungodly living, come out the sinful behavior. The Bible says that you must depart from iniquity. No, sir, I love, I, you, I, uh, I love, you, love, love God you. and repent, sir. Love God and repent. And no, sir, I am gonna preach this message loud and strong because you need to repent. There are people in hell right now that would be hoping. No, sir, no, I don't care what you wanna hear. I'm gonna preach to you anyway, whether you like it or not. Repent, sir, get right with God. Turn to Jesus. The ax is at the root of the tree. Turn to the Lord. Turn to God, repent and believe the gospel because all of you, you're gonna end up dying and you will go to hell. And God's trying to wake you up today. He's saying, wake up, old sleepers. Get off the highway to hell, come to the Lord and believe in the gospel. Cause ma'am, you won't be laughing if you die and go to hell, ma'am. You got one opportunity of that because you're in pride, ma'am. You're broken and you're hurt. You are broken and you hurt. That's why you say that. Because nobody in their right mind would say that. Uh, Muhammad can't save you, sir. Muhammad's in hell, sir. And you're going to go to hell right along with Muhammad if you don't repent, sir. Get right with Jesus. Humble yourself and believe the gospel. You don't like that, that God has sent preachers out here 
to get in your way and warn you not to go to hell. But God cares about souls. God doesn't want you to be judged for your sin. But you got to repent. You got to turn to Jesus. You got to repent and believe the gospel. If not, you're going to die in your sin. And sir, you're going to be judged. Yet the mercy of God sends preachers out here to warn you to repent. The mercy of God sends preachers out here to warn you, sir. Make sure you get right with God. Turn to the Lord, sir, because the clock is ticking down. You don't have that long to live. We need to get our minds off these earthly things and start thinking about salvation. Sir, don't shoo off the preacher. You need to hear this word that's being preached today, sir, because you are on your way to hell, sir. And you need to repent, get right with God, get your wife saved. Get right with God, pick you up a Bible and give your heart to the Lord. Start to live holy, come out of the things of this world. The Bible says, do not love the world or the things of this world. If you love the things of this world, the love of the Father is not in you. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, all that is of the world, it is not of God. It is not of the Father. And the world is passing away, sir. But he who does the will of God abides forever. And God's will is that you put down the alcohol bottle and stop living your life in rebellion and get right with Jesus. God sent his son Jesus to die for your sin. But you can't keep living in rebellion and think that you're going to go to heaven. I'm here to warn you that you are going to hell. And God has sent me here to preach to you, to try to wake you up. You are in sleep land, and God is saying, wake up, come out of sleep land, come to the Lord before it's too late. Judgment day is coming, folks. You will all stand before the God that created you, and he's going to remind you of the day that he sent you a preacher to warn you, but you shooed the preacher off. You slapped the hand of God. You said, I don't want nothing to do with your son, God. I don't want your forgiveness. And you choose to go down that broad way that leads to destruction. And guess what, folks? You're going to go to hell, but you don't have to go to hell. God doesn't want you to go to hell, yet you have to repent and believe the gospel. You have to believe in the heart. The Bible says it's with the heart you believe unto righteousness. But you got to come out the darkness. You can't be, keep being a drunkard and smoking the weed and practice, practicing sexual sin and think that you're going to be okay with God. I'm here to warn you it's not okay. The Bible says you're going to go to a devil's hell if you keep practicing the works of darkness. You have to depart from iniquity. The Bible says let those who name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Sir, you're getting old. You got gray hair. You got a lot of wrinkles. And time is running out for you. And you're drinking alcohol. You need to think about your soul, sir. You need to think about getting right with God. Because you won't go to heaven drinking the alcohol bottle. I am talking about you, sir. Get right with the Lord, sir. Repent and believe the gospel. 